What's up, guys? This is the Dollar Dog 17 bringing you the second part of Uncharted 3 Chapter 6. A little shorter now, but this is basically just showing you how to get through this puzzle. And I'm gonna stop talking for a second. So basically I just cut off some of the sections of him looking at the book just for the interest of the episode or the chapter. Pitch dark in here. So it looks like we're running through here looking for something but uh, Soli needs to give us light first. Whoa. Looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. So for some odd reason, his is lab is out here, and... Maybe his body was never found? I don't know. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a knocking script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. You know, just like the fireplace Drake fell down. Alright, so you're telling me to push, but where do you want me? Oh, okay, right here. Alright, we're gonna push this thing, see what happens. And, oh, perfect. Little secret passageway, like always, because there's always some of those. Still got our AK on us? That's pretty interesting. Oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. And hello. A little slight difference. But I feel like something's just gonna, like, come out of nowhere here. It's just so dark, and, you know, there's zombies everywhere in this game, it seems like, or something. Alright, what's this door? Eh, uh, some national treasure door. There you go. Like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands. Something the interesting the about that square, like it's digitized, you know? Looks like an eight Let's with see. a bunch of pyramids or something. Like he was trying to solve this, but he so, alright, we made it through that. We're opening our journal looking for something. So we've got these symbols, right? And what I decided to do, guys was obviously you have this thing right here but I shortened the clips a little bit so you guys could see what the heck or the correct way to do it you know what the heck to do anything it doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts no now they would have hidden his tomb keep looking around So this might take a little bit of time, but you guys will understand how to do this if you haven't already played this. Because I am upload yeah, uploading this a little late, obviously, because it came out in 2011, but whatever. I'm still doing it, so just watch how this goes.
and here we are with the final move and there we go secret passageway once again and oh man it's fitting under here the master tomb of John D I'm pretty sure right here <laughs> this is it here hold this way sure Please, just tell me his tomb is not going to be empty like Francis Drake. Okay, there we go. Look, Ooh, amulet. Sort of amulet. There's something written here. <laughs> Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. That's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. Kind of makes me wonder, like, why they don't use cell phones, because that actually would probably be a little effective, you know? But, alright, cutscene. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. Nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Get him off me! Get him off me! Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. <laughs> 